Animated transitions or reveals are cool and fun motion graphic animations that look incredible and can have a great impact on the viewer. However, they are used quite sparingly as jump cuts and more subtle transitions, like simple fades for example, are often used instead. Many also create transition clips based on PowerPoint um, transitions and a little editing in their editor, or they use what's available in their favorite editor. There are so many options. In this video, I show you eight neat do-it-yourself examples with a deep dive on a few of them. Where you decide to apply this type of creative solution, whether for a logo or a branded style transition, or just try to shake things up, that's up to you. Let's dive in now. The transitions that I'm about to show you are SVG images that are template images from the Animated Video Elements package from Scott Hamlin. These transitions have been animated by using the Easy Animator Pro tool, also from Scott Hamlin, and then tuned by using the Camtasia Studio video editor. While watching, it's important to pay attention to the following visual elements. The speed of the clip, which can uh, be set in the animation tool and tuned, fine-tuned in the video editor. The transparency in the transition, as you will see that you can, it'll either be solid or fully transparent or a fade. The amount of animation effects in the pause, in, in the in, pause, and out stages, as well as the direction of the animation. There's a lot of top, top, down, left to right, and then also there's pa different patterns and spins and fades. As you can see that there's a whole degree of sophistication in the animations shown in uh, the screen on the screen that you're looking at now. I'm now going to play these again, but now you can hear the sound effects and then we're going to look more closely. As you can see, playing all the transitions through, that the sound effects have a big impact on the um, whole impression that one gets when watching the visual of a transition. Now, the next step is we're going to take a closer look at a few of the examples. First, let's play our first example. This one's known as the Simple Geometric. So as you can see in that one, we're just going to scrub through it quickly here. We had a transition element that animated in, filled the full screen, and then had an effect. And as it faded out, the transition occurred to the next picture. What's interesting is I'm just showing you this initial animation because the next one is uh, one that's derived based on using this simple geometric. And uh, I used a initials from my, the initials from my logo and, and did a sort of like a branded transition. So I'm going to play this one and then let it go straight into the next one. So we're playing this again and then into the next. So as you can see, structurally, there were a lot of elements that were the same and that what was different this time in this one, there was actual transparency. Uh, uh, as a result of the alpha channel MOV file that's created, you can actually see in behind parts. So the transition is not totally solid, but it does occur. And you have this nice branding um, transition of mine. So what's interesting is I started off originally with the simple geometric that came um, with the package and it had all of these elements in it. So 
I only retained these ones here from the original and I discarded all of these over here. So for example, the extra element that uh, designed the shading on the corner, the windmill component that you saw, the center button, and then the yellow in behind, and that's why you have the uh, transparent look now. So then when I got to this structure here, I said, okay, well now I just need to change that things up to the branding of my colors for my logo initials. So as you can see, my logo initials are here. I, I am imported this uh, SVG of my initials and I changed the colors of the outer squares. And now we have a nice solution based on the template, but now it's with my own personal branding. Uh, in this case, I just used my uh, logo initials, which is my name, my logo. Um, but you could have put in here anything, uh, you know, uh, more of a rectangular shaped logo. This just happens to fit nicely with what my branding is. So now we're going to go and see a few more examples that I created with my branding uh, initials. And they're slightly varied, so I'm going to play it first and quickly tell you what I did. So with that one, as you can see, there's a white background in there. It's, it goes to all solid, and then the transition comes out on the other side with the picture. So in this case, I used a white background and created the MOV file, so it's all solid. And uh, it looks quite nice. Now in the next version, here we come. Let's play that now. So with this example, we did a few additional things. First of all, you heard the nice little sound effects. Of course, that always makes the transi transition have a lot more impact. And as you can see also, there's a transparent side of it, but we also have the fading in of the white and then also the fading out as part of the transition. So that's pretty cool, and that's achieved here in the editor by putting in a sort of a white box. As you can see, this call out here, this element here in the Camtasia Studio timeline with fading in and fading out, it helps us to achieve that. And then we have the uh, the sound effect and that's pretty straightforward when you think about it. Let's look at... Okay, and the one other thing to mention here before we move on is that I used um, right here clip speed. And as you can see here, when you use clip speed, you can vary the speed. So in this case, I shortened the speed up and uh, we can actually move it move it around if we wanted but I'm just giving you a little tip that you can take the animation that that came out of uh, Easy Animator Pro and then inside your editor adjust the clip speed and that's what we did to tune it to our liking. Our next example is based on the Polygon 1 SVG image and let me just play that for you now. It also has sound effect so enjoy. Well, I'm not so sure that the bubbling sound was uh, an appropriate sound effect, but it kind of worked due to its brevity, and I kind of like it. It's, it's simple. And before we go and take a closer look at this one, I'm going to show you, as you can see here again, that we have a transparent background. And as the, the um, element starts to come in, then it gets to a solid face, and then as it fades, uh, goes the other side and decomposes, the picture gets revealed. And in order to achieve that, we used again the polygon one SVG transition element and as you can see the element looks solid when you open it as an SVG file it looks like this but then when you click on the constituent parts you'll find that there's actually six I call it cluster pieces so when you go inside Easy Animator Pro and do the break apart you'll find that you have six elements and the sixth element happens to be the sort of solid two-tone background and again, this is an interesting feature whether you want it or not. I, in the example you're going to see, or which you saw, sorry, I removed that so that you can have a transparent uh, impact. In a few of the examples that follow after this one, this back kind of background is, is retained. Now, an important thing to bear in mind is that although I just did a first level break apart here, there is a second level that, as you can see, in the cluster, there's all of these individual unit pieces. There's 7 to 11, depending on the, the cluster. But if you go to break apart at the next level, you can actually select individualized clusters and break it apart, and it'll 
get down into the all of this additional detail. Um, we did not go go here for this uh, example. That's why you just see a single star asterisk here because we just did the break apart at one level. So now let's go and see inside Easy Animator Pro how we made that happen. Now we're back inside Easy Animator Pro and we're going to import the Polygon 1 transition file, the SVG file. So as you can see here, there's well over 20. There's close to, I think there's 25 transition elements inside the animated video elements part of the uh, package. And we're importing the Polygon one example. Now as you can see, we haven't broken anything apart. There's just one layer. If we select that layer and do a break apart, we now have six layers. So what's interesting is when you um, now look at these broken apart layers, you're going to see that there's a whole bunch of different structures. See, as I'm picking on each one, so that's layer one. I'm going to go to layer two. So you see they're all have a have a structure in the way in which they were uh, packaged together so if you go on you'll see there's there's basically five layers of that and underneath the sixth layer is this background and in our example that you looked at the background was gone because I wanted that part to be truly transparent as part of the transition uh, for the effect so if you want to have um, no transparency you would leave that in or you could delete that as for our, our case we deleted that object. So I just went to layer six. I'm going to remove that. You can see that's gone now. I'm going to reset our display. And then um, I used a particular preset. And I believe that this one is this toss out custom one I have here. So I'm going to apply that preset. And there you see how nicely that comes together. So um, it, it has a uh, zero transparency there pretty much when it's solid and then it breaks apart beautifully and let's just quickly look at the animations that were involved to put that together so if we start we'll stop this now and we'll look on the in and uh, as you can see i said there's f five layers and each of those layers has us has a structure as you can see there's the one and then uh, if we go to layer two another section comes out i just walked through this before layer three etc so you get the idea and again a reset and we can see that the toss in in animation with the top left corner um, is highlighted here that's for layer three and if we uh, move that you can see it's that piece so it's going to come in from the, the top and if we go to layer one that's also a toss in and it's now coming from the bottom so that piece will come up from the bottom layer and let's just see layer four um, we reset layer four as you can see is also toss in so everything's a toss in this one's from the bottom right so i'm going to just reset and play again so you can see they came from you know all the different corners that gives you an idea of how the uh the in animations work the pause animation levels as you can see if we run this it you see a little bit of shaking and not much else going on so if we look at that more closely layer one has the rotoscope effect low layer two also has the same effect layer three has no effect in the pause uh, animation layer four has no effect and layer five has rotoscope effect high so basically when you look at the uh, pause duration uh, we'll just put it at three for this moment. You'll see there's some shaking and some parts are totally still. So um, that was the desired effect for this example that I put together. And then now uh, I'm going to move that back to one for the duration. And then we're going to go and look at the out animations. So the out animations, as we can see for layer one, is using toss out two three four five all the layers are utilizing toss out and again um, whoops in in the toss out um, you're going to see that the the things are basically just reversed from what they were so layer one is going down to this corner uh, layer two is going to the bottom right layer three is go, um, going inside so it's dissolving inside with a zoom and a fade 
layer 4 is going to the top left and again these are all toss out motion and uh, layer 5 is also to the top left and again there's a zoom there and a counterclockwise so as you can see there's you know some spinning some twirling as you'll see as you go through the layers some of these are on some of them are off through the layers and then if we play you'll see that that's all looks nice so this is all set with durations of one across each layer so it's showing pretty quickly here and that's just to give you an idea of structurally of what went into the creation of this polygon uh, template animation and then uh, that's it for this example wow that was a cool video teaching you how to take nicely designed transition styled SVG images and create transition animation at clip elements for use in your videos. As you can see, you can get as creative as you wish and I encourage you to get your creative juices flowing and create your own awesome creation and remember these techniques to help you out. See the video description for links to other related videos and any of the resources or tools that I mentioned in this video. If you have any questions, comments, or suggestions about how to succeed in creating transition elements or other elements like intros, outros, or overlays, please leave them down below and I'll help you out if I can. If you're not already subscribed, make sure that you click on the subscribe button so that you can get more videos like this in the future. I publish YouTube videos weekly for video creators that focus on tips and techniques and what you need to do to succeed in using video to grow your business. Thanks for watching and I look forward to seeing you in the next video.